Hey everybody. So we are walking in, as you can see, to the Monmouth County Fair. Yeah. I don't remember which one it is. It is uh, it's been going on for many years, like 40 something. I want to say 47. I'm going to say 47. Oh, that long? I think it's, it's pretty close. Is it? It's pretty close. Okay. So when we get up there, we'll see if it's uh, posted somewhere. Yeah. But it's uh, been going on for quite some time in uh, Freehold, which is the county seat. We're in. Almost. We gotta give them We're almost in. <laughs> Thank you much. Thank you. 44. See? You said it was 47 or something. I knew it was like, I didn't know it was that high. I don't think That's so. That's close. No, it's not. It's, I'm within three. That's the margin of error of which I am just now making up. Okay. It's true. All right. So let's take a look here. Now there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff we're walking by. Let's kind of take an aside here so we can see what we're looking at here. All right. So we've got behind us here. Let's get up higher so you can see. We have Grown in Mammoth, which is the agricultural tent. There's produce for sale. And we have some of the best, best corn. Argue with me. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to argue. Yep. Let's see. And behind us, we've got Made in Mammoth. A bunch of local crafters. Let's see what we've got over here. Me! Hi. That's a Dez. There I am. There's some tractors. There's some weather coming in. We'll see if that's going to hold off or not. Yeah. Yeah, yikes. Monmouth County Tourism over there. Well, let's let's take a look. Where, where do you want to start? Uh, start at the beginning, of course, like a book. That's no fun. Okay. Here we go. Some things I'm a little more familiar with. Various types of barley, hops. Let's see. Very nice. <laughs> Des, that's corny. Womp womp. This looks fun. Anything covered in foam to prevent people from injuring oneself. When I was a kid, that wouldn't be covered in foam. It'd be like, go ahead. What'd you learn? Exactly. You won't do it again, will you? Got the lifts up. That one's up even higher. I feel like these might attract lightning at some point. <laughs> That's amazing. How can you even do that? Well, we circled back around to the Total Mammoth tent because it looks like it's about to rain a little. Maybe. So this way we have the protection of the tent. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what they have. It's as big, is that the biggest mosquito we have in Monmouth County? Good thing. 
Right, go get that's that's a pretty average size for that guy right there. Yeah. What's in there? This guy is actually a very it's a semi rare mosquito for Mama's County. It's also really big. But uh, it doesn't take a blood meal, it only feeds on plant nectar and plant juices. You, you might you see how his proboscis is bent like this? Yeah. It's not straight out. He's more like a butterfly than actually a mosquito, but he's still technically a mosquito, so I did not know that there were mosquitoes that uh, fed on plants. Sixty-three species of mosquito in New Jersey. Gross. <laughs> Very interesting. I learned quite a bit. Thank you. <laughs> There's some larvae in there. And fish. Sure. I'll play tomatoes. Just like the You guys want to do it? Ready? Pick a chip. Pick a chip. Make sure you spin the wheel so it comes up, you win a prize. Ready? Oh! Okay. So, each of you, you get a pen. Corn is always a winner. Corn is always a winner. I should have well, a little bit of weather coming in. So, we're moving from one tent to the next tent. But it should be quick. Stay. Good boy. Do you think the fox rode in on that bike? I think he did. I don't think he could reach the pedals. That's why he's stuck. He's looking for help. Oh. I'll keep them and take them home. <laughs> this is as much beach as I'm getting this year. So it seems. <laughs> Some sea cells you find by the seashore. Sure. And fish bones. Now these are the same type of spider crabs as they otherwise have in like Japanese restaurants? Same species or different? Probably a different species. Um, I didn't know we had a sp spider crab. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, they, that's like a baby, that's a baby. Yeah. So I would... They get, their bodies get maybe like that big. Right. So, um, they're pretty docile crabs. Like they, they're not like blue, blue crabs. Where they just kind of go for things. Yeah, they don't even have real pinchers. They just kind of have like these little feeding claws. Um, and you find them all over the place. Mm -hmm. And they live, when they're babies, sometimes they got washed up on the shore. That's why you find them like dead like that. But, right. Um, usually the grown up ones, they live like kind of in deeper water. I see. So, but we we'll, we catch them sometimes um, in so the no, bay. So not so common, but sometimes. Yeah, like you see, I see them a lot of the time washed up dead already. I don't really see them alive that much, which mm -hmm. is kind of sad. But I think it's just because when they're healthy and alive, they won't be by the shore. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're nice, so you can just like kind of hold them in your hand and they won't really do anything. I see. Yeah. As opposed to all the As other crabs to, we like, have. As opposed to the blue claw where they would pinch, and pinch you and not let go. <laughs> yeah, right? So. Or the sand crabs or the yeah. hermit crabs yeah. or you name it. <laughs> this is going to make a pin. <laughs> you going to color it in now? Yes. What color is your seahorse going to be? That's a mighty fun color in this. <laughs> Very nice. So let's go turn it into a pin now. Alright. That's a fancy one. <laughs> Better than mine. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yay. Walk in Star Tunnel. Enter here. Sure. Ooh. 
it's like I'm really at um, a star tunnel. Yeah. You have to see what the constellations are. It's hard out there. Well, I can tell you that. That there's Antonio. That's Alan. Well, sure, you could use theirs if you want. <laughs> yep, just a little bit of weather. Well, that's the bulk of the storm. Wow. But we're all clear here. Quite turbulent. <coughs> I don't know if you can see that spinning around right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a faint rainbow coming up. Just a little bit. Yep, rainbow is definitely coming up. But uh, yeah, it was a ferocious little storm. It's actually spinning a little bit, and we sit here and watch it. That's not uncommon for some storms, but uh, you know, definitely something to watch. Speaking of watching, there's a Desi Bear. And so can you. Sure. <laughs> yay, yay, accident. Over here, there's going to be an accident. <laughs> Let's get more Americans. All you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. That's free food. That would work too, yeah. Are you ready? That's it, that's all you got. <laughs> if you go louder, I go faster. Oh shoot, oh shoot. You can stop now, you can stop now. You sick people. <laughs> that's good, ready? Here's fire jumping. I know fire jumping by itself isn't really that exciting. So let me enhance that experience by throwing in some sexy body motion. <laughs> Watch this, a few more. Under the arm, over the arm, under, over, over, under, twirly, 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 behind the back, and the crowd goes mild. Woo! <laughs> now watch this. Now watch this, the next one. Now I take each torch and I throw it behind my back. Watch, as I'm now taking each torch and I throw it. I know there's a baby, that's why it's funny. <laughs> I need my helmet for this one, if you don't mind. <laughs> Thank you, the section. Thank you for overcoming the sea of silence. <laughs> this is why I dedicate this next 40 seconds to only these people. I don't care about you anymore. You mean nothing to me. You better step it up in the future.
Hey, goat. Hi. How's it going? I saw your cousin last week. And Shep. Look how, look how short the sheep is. Hello. Hi. We don't have foods for you. Look at all them goats. Oh. He's cute. He's like a doggy. Making a pig out of himself. He's quite the porker. He knows how to bring home the bacon. Will you stop? Nope. No, touchy. <laughs> okay, I pet the goat. Okay. Sorry. How old is he? He's a few months old. He's probably gonna stay this. Um, well, he will stay this size for the rest of his life, though. He's one of our baby pygmy goats. Oh. oh I love it. Now you want goats? I want that one. <laughs> and the alpacas. I want them too. Oh, good lord. Out of all the rides here, that's the one I'd be most likely to go on, and it's still a no. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are hoping to see us go on on any of these, but, um... No. We don't do fair rides. We don't do fair rides. We've seen our fair share of things happen. I have personally been witness to two tragedies on fair rides, one of which they did not survive. So, no. What's that? That's interesting. There's a stitch. I need that. Walk gently. Walk gently. Do not drop the phone. Try for the stitch. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but thank you. We only have two chances here with these buttons. Don't drop it! Don't drop it! Don't drop it! Boom! We got an angel! Yay! No stitch, but it is Angel. That's fine. I'll, I'll take it. Thank you. We got Angel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This ride, this is what I call the no. Also, still no. <laughs> angel. You don't have an Angel. I don't. Well, you do now. I that, that became our cats. She likes it. <laughs> so, one of the things that is always a must get when I'm at the fair at least, is a snow cone. Now this one is a little different than your usual everyday paper cup one, but it still is good. It's grape flavor. Is it grape? It's grape. It's a great grape. Great grape? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not an okay grape? No, it's, it's, it's good grape. Okay, pretty good. good. Pretty good. Grape. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chickens. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, look at that duck. It's a blue beak. He's <laughs> cute. Duck, 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 duck. I want to pet it. Oh, yeah? Quack. There's a fancy duck in there. Look, they come over to say hi. Hello. Hello, ducks. <laughs> hi, duckies. I like this one's due. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are sitting in the breeze from the fan. That's nice. <laughs> Funny butt. This one's named Bambi. Whoa. Oh, it's a good thing. Right? Oh, he's so cute. Her name's Lola. I know. I wish I could do my eyeliner like that. I would like to have all of these rabbits in one confined space and hug them all. <laughs> Especially this one. It's like a kitty cat. Oh, you are too. <laughs> Especially that one. I think. This rabbit may have seen some things. He just has that look on his face. He has a story to tell. Dateline rabbit. <laughs> this one has just turned his back on the world. Look at those ears though. Now we bypass this tent in order to get to Hillby on time for his show. So we've we've come back before heading out. So we're almost done. We've had quite a day. I'm sure there's there's more to have been seen. There's always more things. But uh, we're quite we're quite damp at this point. It's quite a hu very humid. I'm using quite so much. I don't quite know what to do with it. So, it's, like, it's like Florida weather. It is. <laughs> now, I'd like to do this at some point. I've got plans somewhere. <laughs> and I plan to use the plans. But the best laid plans... Well, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't even have time to finish that joke. I do have that composter, though. There she is. Oh yeah. Cool. She is the mother to all. Thank you. <laughs> they want to get out. <laughs> Thank you. 
You are a braver man than me. <laughs> like being a lion tamer. If you had a hundred thousand tiny lions, yes. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> all right, guys. So we are heading out of the fair before we lose all the daylight. We're gonna go ahead and try and find the truck. We had a great time this year's fair. Actually, I think this year was a little bit better than last year. Um, but it's always a great time coming to the fair. So if you liked traveling along with us, make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit the little notification icon, and we'll see you on our next adventure.